In this video we will show you how to get to and play back recorded video. And you can either go to the search here, or you can right click, go to main menu, and then video. This brings you to the same interface no matter what. Here you can see we're looking at recorded video from the hard drive. And then also here is the recorded, or let's say you take snapshots, it'd be under picture or pick. Here, down here we can see the timeline. And as you can see, we have four channels selected. So if we select anywhere in here, we can see that it brings up the four channels. Here we have a shipping tech in the back. I'm just gonna pause the playback right now. On the side here, you can see where it says M. So this means stands for mainstream. If you wanna look at the subscreen, you're gonna click here. That's after we hit stop here. This is how you can configure this. You can hit S, 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 that brings up the substream. It doesn't look like we recorded any of the substream, so we can't really pull that up. Go back to mainstream, and it'll show it here. Now let's say you're trying to um, view some continuous recording that you had throughout the day. Like I showed you, you can just select any of this. And this brings my attention to the key out down here that shows certain colors mean certain things. So as you can see, we have a little bit of yellow and a lot of green. So green means general continuous recording. And the red mean would mean if you had an alarm input plugged into the rear of the DVR. And then motion is pixel-based motion detection. We'll show you an example here. And as you can see, I can scroll in and out of this timeline. I'll explain that more in detail here in a second. So right now we have motion on channel 2 while we have continuous recording on every other channel. Somebody coming up to our door and then leaving. And the Intel here would be blue. We do have something from today that is the Intel, as you can see, it's marked here by the blue. We had a tripwire up at the front of our, our entrance here. And as we came through, it recorded this. POS stands for point of sales. Our recorders allow POS data to be recorded over the RS-232 connection. For the POS function to work, you need a recorder and cache register with RS-232 connections to communicate with each other. So you can also see recorded files in this file list using this button right here. And we currently have it set to hour intervals. So let's say we wanted to download something from you know, hour 11 of that day. This is 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. We would select it. And then you could also lock this file. So then when you lock this, this means that when the DVR goes to overwrite, it would not overwrite this hour for this day. It would save that and then move forward over that and start rewriting every file before and or after at that file. You can also go ahead and view and see where you have locked files and then unlock them. This allows the DVR to then overwrite that file. Now, when you're viewing video, let's say you want to view it in a, at a faster speed. That's when you can go ahead and, and see this button here, it says Fast Playback. And this recorder supports going all the way up to 16 times, and that's if you really want to skim through the events. Here we have a, a view of the staging area and also the packing area of our, our shipping tech. Um, and that's, you know, if you want to capture any of these events and skim through them. So now let's say if you want to catch a, a very slow detail or something like that. You can slow it down all the way to 1 16th time. And this will go do a frame by frame video. As you can see, we were editing the image settings on this camera. And we can see that happening. You can click stop here. This allows us to show that you can only do one channel at a time if you'd like, or two channels. You can select these and it'll bring them up in a group view. Let's say you just stop that and then pull up one channel. Here we have the front can show the motion detection video on that channel in a full screen. Now we're going to go ahead and check all of these just to demonstrate down here that you can choose 24 hours which is the whole day which is normally the default when you select a channel. You go down to a two hour interval and select, select the area first and then select two hours. That brings about two hours around the point where you select it. Here we have 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. You can go down to even further to an hour, so 10 a.m. to 11 a.m., and then 30 minutes. So here we're having 10.30 a.m. to 11 a.m. You can zoom in with the mouse wheel as well, and that'll get you the same results for the channels as far as their times. And if you want to zoom in to record a video that you already have, all you have to do is simply drag, click on the channel first, then click 
and hold and drag and create a rectangle. This will allow you to zoom in on that area. And once you have this hand icon, you can actually pan around this image. Now please note that this is, since this is recorded video, this is a digital zoom. This is not an optical zoom. There is no way for you to go back in time and, and optically zoom on an event that had already happened. You can only use this digital zoom. So we're going to right click to get out of that. So then, let's say you have a certain event that you want to bookmark. We're just going to go to one of the motion events that happen throughout the day on channel 2. Let's see here. Let's say we want to bookmark this person approaching our front, our front door here. So here you're going to see the add mark button. I'm going to click this, and then you can name this. We're going to say front door. Click OK. So after creating that front door bookmark, we can go ahead and, and click stop or right click. And then we can go down here to the mark list, and this is the bookmark list. It says it only supports single channel. So we're going to select each channel. And as you can see, we have the mark time of 1244.25 named front door. That's the mark time for that channel. And this tells you what time that, you know, that certain event was, and you can use that information to then click down here on your timeline, and it brings up the specified bookmark for you to look at. If you would like to exit the bookmark playback screen, simply stop the playback. Hopefully this video helps. Thank you for watching.